You, sir, are a fish. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of our stool entertainment, doing survivalist number 10. This is where you have to catch 15 different fish in Red Dead Redemption. And fishing can be, even in Red Dead Redemption, too boring. And it takes a little time. I noticed from my previous, uh, how shall I say, playthroughs, that there's sort of a hierarchy you use you can use a special lure or a lure to get large fish then there's certain baits you can use to catch medium fish and certain baits you can use to catch smaller fish now in this case arthur is going to try and get all the fish and you can use the legendary fish to help you out and one of the things you can do is use Arthur's vision power as long as he's holding a rod and find where most of the fish are schooling and that increases your chance to catch a fish. So let's get on with survivalist number 10. Since I caught the legendary muskie off of Van Horn in order to fulfill survivalist number 9, I'm still here at Van Horn and I'm going to try and catch a muskie. And I'm using a regular river lure. I could probably use the special lure. And yeah, I'm going to just catch a muskie to set things off. This is two minutes of time compressed to about six seconds. It takes that long to fish. You're not bad at all. You're a fine looking musky. Now, Survivalist 10 has begun. And if you're in an area where you're fishing, like I mentioned, you have a lure, bait for medium fish, and bait for small fish. They even say so in the description of the bait. And you want to try in an area you're catching a fish. If you haven't caught, like, let's say, a perch or bluegill yet, you can try catching small and medium fish as well in the same area as you're catching large fish. It's just when you start catching fish that you've already caught and you're not catching anything more, it's when you want to move away and go to a different fishing spot. In this case, I'm going to try using cheese bait and catch a medium-sized river fish, or was I using, yeah, that's cricket. Use cricket bait. And that is the second fish. Now, I usually keep a list of fish needed to be caught and cross them off because after a while it gets difficult to kind of figure out. I mean, 15 fish is not a lot to remember. But yeah, once I catch them, I want to make sure I don't have to bother trying to catch them again. And this is where it's very easy at the start because you haven't caught any of the other types of fish. I just caught a muskie and a bluegill. So whatever else I um, reel in, the fish will be crossed off the list. Ha, gotcha. Now you're going to get much more resistance from large fish compared to small and medium fish. Now again, like I said, if you're pulling the same fish all the time after you've caught certain type of fish, Move on to somewhere else. I was going to leave Van Horn before I caught this because I was catching a few bluegill and perch, I believe. But then I caught this 
And at this point, yeah, I fished out this area. So I'm going to move further up to Willard's Rest where I can catch some other type of fish. I just pulled various fish of the same type for a while here. I said I'm up here by Willard's Rest in order to try and pull some fish. I used some bait and I managed to catch this chain pickerel. So yeah, like these are smaller fish. I'm going to try for bigger fish a little bit into this and just try and find the fish here. I wasn't having a lot of luck by Willard's Rest, so I came back to the Clemens Point campsite to see if I can pull some fish for this challenge. And yeah, you can pull fish out of the rivers around the Clemens Point campsite and catch them and fulfill part of the challenge. And then you can just give them back to Pearson for the camp to eat. Whoa, okay. Mm. So I did some fishing around the campsite and wasn't pulling anything of value. So I moved on to another option. I moved over to the Graz and I'm going to try and catch a very big catfish. So I'm using the special river lure to try and catch a very, very big catfish. This one slipped the line and put up a major fight. So this is about three minutes of time in nine seconds. This goes back to using a lure or special lure to catch very large fish. And that's what I had to use. Now, if I would have used bait, I would have probably caught little tiny fish, which I didn't need. And yeah, this is not a legendary fish by any means. But again, you want to use a lure or even a special lure to catch extremely large fish. I'm on the railroad bridge outside of St. Denis, North St. Denis, in order to catch the legendary Lake Sturgeon. Exactly are you? A sturgeon? Yeah, I think so. And now it's off to Lake Hay to catch another very large fish. In order to catch the legendary long nose gar, you have to fish from this point here, and that will fulfill the necessity for catching a long nose gar, which is a fish on the list you have to catch.
you. Oh, I damn well got you. Where are you? Gar. Quite a fish, too. And now I'm off to another place to catch some other fish on the list, and I should be wrapping this challenge up. Now where I'm fishing is Bard's Crossing right here, and then I'll be overfishing at this area here to catch several different fish. Now uh, the first fish I caught here is a largemouth bass, which is on the list. And then I'm trying to catch the trout, which I'm going to use the river lure to catch. I was using bait, or actually I was using the river lure. I'm going to have to use the special river lure to catch the trout. And this is where there's some differences because a trout is a pretty large fish. Largemouth bass is sort of a large fish. You definitely won't catch any with bait, but again, I'm going to use the special lure to catch the trout. Now, the special river lure, again, it can be used to catch very large fish or legendary fish. A lure can catch large fish and potentially medium fish. And bait, well, like I said, there's different types of bait. Good to meet you. You're a fine steelhead, my friend. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next area to catch some smaller fish. And then finish out this challenge and I should have all 15 fish caught and represented in this video. Okay, where I'm fishing is outside a painted sky right here. I probably should have just gone for the legendary chain pickerel, but I left that for some other time. And sometimes it even depends on which side of the river you're fishing on and what you catch. Okay, I'm pulling in this fish. It's a chain pickerel. And I already got it. Catching the legendary chain pickerel, that's why I didn't go for it, because it would have not helped. I'm trying to get a red fin pickerel. And yeah, I'm fishing on the opposite side of the river I usually fish on, because usually pickerels are easier to catch from this side of the river. I ended up catching four or five different fish, and then finally, ta-da, I got the red fin pickerel. Damn, this thing was hard to catch. And the legendary one, Arthur can't catch because it's locked off from him. So yeah, now on to catch the catfish that I need to catch. Not the big one that I just caught, but the little one. Now we're outside the Siska Penitentiary Island to catch the legendary bullhead catfish. This is one that you have to catch from a boat. And yeah, it sucks. Got to roll all the way out and then get the boat positioned correctly. Put on your special river lure and try and catch the catfish. Damn well got you. 
afraid you're staying with me. And now on to other areas and other fish to catch. That is the legendary bullheaded catfish, and I'm not going to show you the rowing back. Oh, now I'm at a specific spot to catch the northern pike on the Lanahatchee River. And I'm going to use the special river lure because the northern pike is a big fish. And I'll show you on the map after I catch the fish. Well, look at you. Mmm, the back. Real tough. At this location on the map, right here, just outside of the Van Horn stables, I can guarantee you, you will catch a northern pike with a special lure. I've done it multiple times, and yeah, it's worked so far. Now I'm going to put the horse, or the fish on the horse, and go to the final destination to catch my final fish for this challenge. Now this final place is on Lake Okriji, the veteran's cabin, right the dock by his cabin. I'm going to try and catch the salmon instead of going way north and catching the legendary salmon you can catch the correct type of salmon at this location and you want to use just a general lake lure they're not huge and you can see them even swimming around those nice bright red salmon A nice sockeye salmon to finish out the challenge, and I am done. I'll show you on the map here, right where I'm fishing. It's just outside of the veteran's cabin on his pier on a Creegee's run. And you don't have to go north to Coulter to catch the legendary sockeye salmon. You know, ride up to Lake Isabella or down and catch it, you can just catch some nice fish here. If you found this video interesting and informative, leave a thumbs up. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.